For this project, we were faced with the task of designing and building a heat engine utilizing a cogeneration system. The purpose of such a system is to produce power while also harnessing waste heat for another useful purpose. In order to keep the design relatively inexpensive, we would use standard off-the-shelf components from a regular hardware store, as well as utilize recycled materials whenever possible in an effort to help divert some waste stream from landfill. With a finished product, we could then apply the thermodynamic principles of energy and entropy balances in order to determine how much work was done by the machine, the amount of waste heat captured, and how efficient the device actually was. Group 7 decided to use the expansion of steam from boiling water to drive a steam turbine. Once the steam passed through the turbine, it would then be channeled through a condenser in order to capture waste heat. Our basic need with this design was a vessel in which to boil water and create a pressure gradient to atmosphere. By this pressure gradient, due to expansion, the steam will escape quite quickly through a small nozzle. We mounted a turbine, or in our case, a scrap computer fan, to the lid of the pot. By drilling two small holes, or nozzles, in the lid of the pot, we can direct the steam across the blades of the fan, turning it, therefore doing work. For the waste heat capture stage of the cogeneration system, we had to channel the steam after it had passed through the turbine through a condenser in order to extract heat from it. A basic solution was to use a cone to channel the steam up into a coil arrangement. We used copper tubing for its superior heat conductivity. From the preliminary research and development phase right through to a working finished product, we now have a very valuable platform on which to perform analysis. We can easily determine the input heat from the blowtorch and hot plate. By measuring temperature at several points on the device, we can determine how much energy was captured by the turbine as well as the condenser. By considering the input heat, we can calculate the efficiency of the device. It is very important in the design build process to optimize the efficiency of a heat engine. In larger scale operations involving energy, a large amount of money can be saved by developing and improving a solution in this manner. While our device may seem crude in its construction and operation, the principles of its design can be applied to a very important scope of thermodynamic study.